Okay. Okay. Um, I assume there's people out there. Um, so welcome to the Village of Mamaroneck Board of Architectural Review meeting, uh, October 21st, 2021. Um, the, um, we have, uh, obviously this is a, a virtual Zoom uh, webinar. So we'll call on, uh, on you to uh, your applications and if you could then share your screen um, and then we'll all have to work on it that way. Um, if there's people who are part of the application but not necessarily planning to speak or anything, I'd ask them to just sign on at the same time, even if they don't say anything. So if any questions arise and they do want to say something, we don't have to go through the uh, trying to find you and locate you and realize that you want to speak and maybe missing you and, and it, it gets complicated. We've had trouble with that. So just if, if you, even if you're not planning to speak, just in case, uh, please sign on. Um, okay, with that said, um, there may be also people in the audience who have uh, questions or comments. If you do so, raise your hand or, uh, or chat or something and, and we'll try to recognize you and bring you on. I'll try to remember at the end to check for that, but uh, sometimes I forget. So, you know, but please do try to make your presence known if you have questions or comments. Um, and with that, I'll introduce uh, the board members. We have a full board tonight. We have uh, Athena Makesh, um, Andrew Wallowitz, Yvonne Levine, and Cindy Lee, and I'm William Binzer. So with that, I think we can get started. Um, the first order of business is uh, the approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. Um, have you all had the opportunity to review the meeting, the minutes? And if so, do you have any questions or comments on them? No. No. It's okay. Okay, then to me. I could get a, a motion to vote on them. Okay. Motion. Second. Okay. Um, anybody opposed? Okay. No. Nope. And it's nope. approved then. Okay, and with that, we can get started with uh, old business. Uh, <coughs> old, first, well, first and only uh, piece of old business, I guess, is a continuation of uh, for 605 uh, Third Street. Um, so are the applicants uh, representatives? Hello. Ready here? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Um, let's see, let's share my screen. Um, I don't have uh, participant screen sharing permissions yet. Oh, oh, let, me, oh, let me click that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're new at this. We've only been doing it for two years. You know, it's, <laughs> uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, it should be good now. Awesome. There we go. I got my screen sharing set. Oh, that's not the right screen. Um, oh, yes. So that, um, you can all see this plan set, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so uh, from the board's recommendation to um, clean up the aesthetics of the array, uh, we have a, a much more um, symmetrical design going on on this, this roof plane um, to maintain the um, the, the residents, uh, Chris, our customer, Chris Weeks. Sorry, I had, didn't actually introduce myself. <laughs> um, my name is Alex Martin, and I am speaking from Castleman Solar um, mm -hmm. on behalf of our customer, Chris Weeks. At um, okay, very good, thank you. Um, so we had uh, made the design um, a fair bit more. Uh, symmetrical. Um, we did have to leave this this long panel here to uh, to keep the the production higher, um, but that far corner will be um, away from facing away from the street, um, as it'll be off on that corner. Uh, face yeah, facing away from the street. Uh, so it's on it's on the front corner there, right? 
Uh, yes. So yeah, the, right there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, oh, yes. Yes, actually. That's, um, okay. that's okay. Yeah, that, that panel will be there. I apologize. Yeah, that, that's fine. Um, but the uh, this growth of this tree will uh, block most of the, at least the, uh, the perpendicular view, or the drive-by view of that um, section. It will be uh, slightly visible, more visible going down the street, mm -hmm. um, but not at, um, it'll be an incidental angle, so not any uh, major glare effects there. Um, this is the, the front of the, uh, the face of the property. Um, and yeah, so the, the significant change that we had made was um, to, to clean up that, that section right there. Okay. I, well, first of all, I, I commend you for, uh, uh, I mean, it, I think it's, it's much cleaner looking and, and less, less of a hodgepodge. And so I appreciate you doing that. I did have just a, a couple of questions. One, I think I know the answer to, but I'll ask anyway. Mm -hmm. Of the nine units on the left, mm -hmm. the one on the right, most right one is shifted down a bit. I think there's something in the way. Is, is that why? Yes, one? it was uh, the clearance for the chimney. Okay. All right. I, that's one I thought I knew the answer to. Now, the second question I have, if you if you keep that picture there, okay. and it's hard to tell, it looks like from on the plan, it looks like you could put a, a second panel next to that one lone panel. This panel here, yeah. we weren't able to because the the percentage that it would be infringing on the um, the fire access route right here would be too great of a of a percentage violation on okay. that. Um, okay, uh, we have just shifting back to the plan a second, the one up above it, I think. This one or no, the other, yeah, that plan. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of room there, but that may not be accurate drawing. Yeah, this um, this um, so this only has the the ridge. Um, uh, what's it called? The not the chaseway. The uh, I see. So that this only has the the ridge clearances illustrated on it, but for uh, ground access, the 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 middle of the the easement between the the dormer and the the higher crest. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. I was just saying from even on that, it even looks like if you drew it in, there's still plenty of room for another panel. And I asked the reason I ask is twofold. One is um, if you go back and look at that other drawing, the, the picture that that it's a little awkward having that configuration there if you look at the picture on the right and the other thing is from the solar study you uh sent mm -hmm. that's that's a less good exposure than if you could put it next to it so i i may just but the plant you see if you look at it there it looks like it doesn't fit if you look at the plan it looks like it does so i just right, right. but yeah. i think i think the problem i think the problem is that this is not really accurate right like the dormer yeah. Is not right. coming close to the yep. main roof ridge. Yeah, I think you're probably right. It's just a diagram. Yes. Actually, there's one other thing. Maybe go to go to that other drawing. Just I care. I want this is now this. Yeah. Okay. That's all I want to see. Never mind. All right. So I guess we take your word for it that it doesn't fit, which it's just too bad. It would have looked nicer to have one lone one on the other side and to there, but um, I, yeah. I definitely, I, I definitely agree, I agree. That yeah. more aesthetically in line. Um, and yeah, because um, we, when we were going over it, I did uh, propose that to our design engineer um, yeah. as well. But um, but that was one one change that we couldn't. Um, okay. Yeah, we weren't able to accommodate that. Space. Yeah. Yeah, I figured because it would have been, it's a bit, like I said, it's a better exposure anyway. All right. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm done talking. Does anybody else have uh, things to say or questions? Or I think you said it all. It look, it does look so much cleaner and nicer. Yeah. Yeah. I think we recognize their, their restrictions and so forth, but, you know, mm -hmm. just make it look as, as, you know, reasonably good. <laughs> and I, I, I certainly, uh, I certainly understand that um, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Okay. All right. Any any other comments from the board? I'm good. Thank you. Any comments from the uh, audience? No. No. Okay. Motion to vote. I motion. I'll second it. 
Okay, let's we'll roll call it because we're virtual here. So let's see, Andrew. Yes. Uh, Yvonne. Yeah. Cindy. Yes. And Athena. Yes. Okay, and I'm I'm good too. All right, very good. Thank you, and again, thanks for 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 putting the effort into working that out better. Appreciate it. Absolutely, I appreciate it, board. You have a good evening. Okay, you thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. All right, the next application is 859 Mamaroneck Avenue. Good evening. Hello. Hi, my name is Brian O'Connor of Froling Sign. Uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen. So what we're proposing is to install a non-illuminated awning on the back side of the Enterprise Rent-A-Car office building on Mamaroneck Avenue. We can't uh, see that yet, right? We just see your um, uh, your menu screen. You don't you see, you don't see any it. pictures. To... It looks like you have to click on it or something. Double click, maybe. <laughs> maybe he sees it. I see it. Hmm. Oh, well, here's really? the thing. Can, can I explain? You're probably sharing the wrong thing. You should share your whole desktop because okay. now it's a new window and that's why we don't see it because you shared, you shared the menu. Okay. So go back and just share your desktop. It's the top left one. Uh, it should sorry. look like us. <laughs> it's the one that looks that has all of us on it. Okay. And then you'll be able to share everything. Um, all right. Hopefully this will work. Are you able to see that? Same oh. thing. Same thing. Okay. Don't see the ironing. Not Let yet. me just try it again. Sorry. There you go. Yes. Okay. Yay. Sorry. Okay. Um, so again, what we're proposing is to install a non-illuminated awning on the back side of the building. Um, it would be uh, mounted to the building, extending across the driveway and the parking spaces, um, and then we would be putting some support poles in there. Um, the awning is uh, for um, the office employees to uh, for vehicle prep uh, for uh, for the um, uh, the customers uh, to access the cars um, and and inspections and so on. Um, that's the the awning is is away from uh, from the Maranek Avenue. It's not visible at all. Um, and it's only visible from the actual driveway entrance off of the side street itself. Do you have like a site plan or something? I do. Um, okay. Let me, let me get to that. I think you uh, I think you might have uh, closed your desktop you might have to share it again sorry Uh, 
I apologize. I'm not as good at this as. Okay, uh, now it's, it's just like your okay. your computer. So go down and, and go to uh, your folders. You know, Internet Explorer. There. Yep. There you go. There we go. Okay. Okay. So this is. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes um, so this is Mamaroneck Avenue here. Um, mm -hmm. The office is the entrance to the office is uh, is here. This is Nostrand Avenue. And the awning is going to be fastened wow. to the building here and mm -hmm. go across the parking areas and the driveway. And okay. it will we'll be putting in some support poles right here behind the asphalt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, I assume the building is federal code. Is there any setback requirements there or anything? Uh, the building inspector has not uh, told us that there was any issue with the actual awning itself or yeah. setbacks. It's a commercial district. I suspect there isn't, but I, I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, it looks pretty straightforward. Does anybody have any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No. No. Yeah, it's kind of in the back. You can't really yeah. see. And yeah, yeah, it's simple. And yeah. yeah. I'm, su no. I'm, su I'm surprised you didn't go for green since it's enterprise, but <laughs> yeah. anyway. <laughs> Well, their their awnings their awnings are actually when they use them they are they are black. Um, we and we also wanted to make this uh, basically as nondescript as possible. Mm. Okay, I see. So not to call the attention to it. Okay, correct, correct. That's why there's mm -hmm. no graphics on it or anything like that. Uh huh. Just very functional. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any more comments on the board? How about from the audience? No. All right, motion. I motion. I second it. Okay, I don't know. You'll have to decide who is second on that, Barbara. Okay, <laughs> um, and then let's see, we'll go the other way around this time. Athena? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Yvonne? Yes. And Andrew? Yes. Okay, me too. Very good. Thank you Thank very you. much. I, I appreciate it. Have a good mm -hmm. night. You too. You too. Thank you. Thank you. you. All right. The next uh, application is, I believe, 257 Mamaroneck Avenue. Brian. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Yes. Hi, uh, good evening, everyone. Oh, let me see if I can. Now we can see you. Hi, yes. good evening, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, just a, a, a quick a quick one here. This is for um, well, first, first of all, Brian, can I ask you to introduce yourself? Oh, sorry. Uh, Brian Cullen. I'm from Gotham Signs and Graphics in Mamaroneck. Thank you. Um, yeah, so just, this is basically uh, a, an application for a permit to reface an existing sign that, that um, is on the backside of Mamaroneck <laughs> Avenue, which faces the parking lot. Lose Food, which has been there for a while. Um, you know, they, they, it, it's a food preparation place and, and uh, they have a co-tenant now, uh, COSI. And um, what they wanna do is just update the sign to reflect both tenants. Um, can you see the screen? The, the screen? No, we only see you. No. Oh, okay. Uh, hang on, share a screen, let me just. All right, can you see that now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah okay. okay, so this is how it looks now. Um, 
it's it's there's there's a sign there that, that just faces the parking lot. There's no sidewalk underneath it. It's not street facing or anything like that. Well, I think um, I think technically that's called Phillips Park Avenue, but anyway, yeah, oh, we we know where it is. It, well, <laughs> further away, it's it's it's, it's yeah. not immediately, uh, you mm -hmm. know, right right on the street yeah, there. No, we we I think we're all familiar with it. Yeah. And um, so what they want to do is just update it to include uh, Kosi, who also operates out of that premise, so that when they have you know Uber Eats and um, you know different types of food pickup places, they know where to go. Um, mm -hmm. So we're not changing the footprint of the sign. We're, you know, really all we're doing is just uh, printing up new uh, vinyl and, and we're just gonna put it right over the face of the existing sign just to reflect both tenants. Okay. And um, there are only a couple of other signs in the back of that area. Um, uh, the restaurant has one, but the rest of them are just kind of like, you know, tra traffic directional type signs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a big mural. <laughs> so yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> that so nice. they they share the space or they're two separate tenants? I, uh, as I understand it, they share the space. The space. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're co-tenants in the same kitchen or, or same facility. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, I, I noticed that uh, looking at the colors, there are more than, than three colors. If you, do you have a close-up of the design? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there, there are three, but just th that's really more a function of their two separate business hmm. brandings with, 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 with separate color palettes. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I was hoping a, an exception might be. Yeah, they're... Um, they're I think in the past we have considered logos that have had mm. more North Shore Farms, for example. Um, and I don't give, mm. I'm speaking mm -hmm. for myself now, given the location, you know, in the parking lot and, and so yeah. forth, it's, you know, I'm probably willing to not count white as a color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. But I mean, you know. Yeah. I'll be okay too. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. I mean, I'm okay. Yeah. I didn't I didn't even think about it have being as there were yeah. two it's one sign, right. but two signs oh. within one sign. Yeah. It's tough when you yeah. get companies that have more than two, three colors yeah. in your logo. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. All right. Any other comments, Athena? Any comments? And if anybody in the audience? No. Mm -mm. Okay, motion. Motion. Second. Second. Okay. And, all, right. all right, so let's see, Athena? Yeah. Andrew? Yes. Yvonne? Yes. Cindy? Yes. And I'm also good. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, next is uh, 430 Mamaroneck Avenue. I don't see him. Daniel, are you here? <laughs> so we're gonna defer and see if he shows up later. Okay. You don't you don't see his see him there anyhow anywhere. I don't see his name. I don't see his email address. All right, all right. Any anybody there from four thirty going once, twice? Okay. Oh wait, somebody's raising their hand. Okay. <laughs> It is lucky I didn't have a gavel. Hello. <laughs> Dion, you're muted. Yeah, can't hear you. Unmute. Hi, everybody. There you go. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hi. Are you Daniel? 
No, I'm not. I'm representing him. My name is Dion Leader. Okay. And um, I'm representing him for the, the awning that he's going to do in Mamaroneck. It's and, and are you with, can you introduce yourself uh, besides your name? Are you the, the sign company or, or what are, you know? No, I'm just a friend of his helping him. Oh, out. okay. You're just, uh, okay. Uh, interested party. All right. Fine. Yes. So um, it's an awning that's being, it's a recover. So the awning is already existing. And what they want to do is recover. So I can, let me see, I have to share my screen. Hold on. I said, if there's any problem, I'll share my screen. Okay. Hold on. Uh, what is that? When I click it, do you, did you click the share screen at the bottom there? I did, and I clicked desktop, but it gave me an error message here. And I assume you enabled them, Barbara? Once I enable the first person, they're all enabled. OK. <laughs> could, could I share just? Y yeah, could you? Because it for some reason, my computer is not letting me. You all see this? Yep. Yes. So we're going to, um, uh, no, 430, correct? Four Yes, four thirty in the morning. That's it. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, that's... There you go, the picture. There you go. I think that's the that's the screen. Yes, same say. thing I have here. <laughs> <laughs> and, Andrew, could you uh, close the thumbnails on the side? So. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um. That I'm not sure how to do. All right. They're well, taking up a lot of space. Well, the, the uh, I've got, I can probably, I just, if I turn off the, uh, I mean, there, um, I can deal with it. Just give me a, okay. okay. I just had to turn off you guys so I can, then I can see it. Yeah, you can just move. <laughs> so the existing in the, the middle picture there, there apparently, is, and there's nothing there. It's just a frame. Mm-hmm. And what will be is in the first picture, which is a umbrella fabric, and it's going to be painted with umbrella paint, which you see right here below. And pretty much, it's just a takedown, recover, and put back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys have any questions? Uh, don't see much to question about it. Um, any yeah. anybody anybody else have any comments or questions? Mm -hmm. Pretty clear to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see any conflict. I mean, no. The uh, right the color of the the um, the awning itself is a little bit different from the the teal in the logo right yeah but but the yeah i, yeah. I noticed that too yeah. but, but the, the, remember the metro pcs one a little bit off the picture is also a, a greeny tealy color yeah i think it's uh, just how it comes up in the computer it's like that but it yeah it's off just a little bit i see it too yeah yeah i, I mean the question is is it supposed to be kind of similar or or not yes it's supposed to be similar Okay. Well, well, the, the the barber shop is blue. This is teal, which are different. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't mean. Yeah. But what I was what I was saying is that there the next sign to the left is that Metro CPS CVS Metro PCS one we saw a while back, which is sort of green over here. Oh, 
No, the other way. Oh, over but there. Do you mean, Yvonne, like the little flowery looking things versus the actual blue of the sign, right? Uh huh. Yeah, that was a question. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And that is an interesting thing. I hadn't really picked up on that with the three colors because it really is more like four colors. Yeah. Right, but but the but the awning is not the sign, right? The awning is the awning, right? Yeah, yeah. the awning is the awning. Apparently, this is their logo colors. Okay. I think it's the white, the teal, and the lilac. I see. Now, so, what color is to... what color is the awning? The awning is sort of a it looks like it's supposed to be the teal. Yeah, well, that was my question. Yeah, <laughs> we've circled back to it. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a question. But too. it looks a little bit darker than the teal, but I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah and it's a little different, but yeah. sometimes, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. I mean, to, to be honest, do we care if the uh, the awning is teal or blue? No. Yeah. Yeah. Just curious. Then, <laughs> along the oh, same wait, line, oh, excuse me. It says aquamarine. If you scroll oh, down. It's a different color. Okay. Yeah. yeah see, it says aluminum ah. frame. Sumbrella fabric is aquamarine. Okay. Oh, okay. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay, colors. so I just want to ask this lilac isn't really lilac to me. Lilac is purple, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. this, it really isn't mm -hmm. going to be purple. It's really going to be this color, this sort of lighter blue, right? Where it says lilac. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's probably, and I'm just guessing here, but I'm betting this is all umbrella fabric colors. Yes. Yeah. So if you go. And look there and look up their colors, you'll see it, right? Yeah, right, right. Mm. But you're right, it does kind of look okay. like blue. yeah, okay. Let's see. And now what, what are you saying? Uh the, the other kind of the other awning is another color. What's uh what yeah, color the, the, it? another uh, blue? I I, yeah. I don't know if that's uh, aquamarine or not. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if we even need to do this, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is sort of fun. Maybe there, yeah. Fabric. We can't find a color chart. Oh, yeah. I don't know where it went mm. to, but I mean, it's not going to really matter, though, right? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, here are the colors. I found them. If you click on the uh, canvas. Um, you can see lots, there's lots of colors. Um, I don't happen to see aquamarine, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> or a canvas spa. I don't know. I, I think I think I think at this point maybe we're, yeah. I think we just move on. I think we're playing, um, but okay. Yeah. yeah anyway. Okay. Here, so okay. Okay. Let's go back to where we were. A sign. Awning. Right? Are we seeing each other okay. now again? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So were we um, at a point where we're going to motion or? Oh, well, we yeah. Is there, is there anybody uh, in the audience who wants to say anything? No. Okay, then we can have a motion. I was still looking for aquamarine, but I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion. Okay. Um, second. second. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yvonne? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Athena? Yep. Andrew? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank guys. you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Have a good night. You too. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so next we've got uh, 606 Orienta Avenue. Who's here from Sun Blue Energy? Raise your hand, please. There we 
go. I found aquamarine. It's sort of uh, the color on the. It's the color that was on the. Uh, the petal. Yeah. It's that sort of peely color. Mm -hmm. It's a bluey green color. Okay, Jonathan, you mu you muted. Can hear you. Yes, hi. I'm trying to share the screen on the computer, but for some reason I can't see you on the computer. So, so I can share. Can you, can you hear me? Sure. Can say that again. I, I'm going to share. Okay, great. I think Andrew just likes sharing. I know. I know. He's right. Just, he's um, just sharing. Yeah. Kind of Andrew he's likes here. facilitating. <laughs> you know, so I, I like to keep things moving. So I like yes, to, so. <laughs> and we appreciate it, Andrew. So let's see. Yeah. We're, now we're at where? We're at 660? So 606. 606. What's 606. that? 606. 606. 606. 606. My, my mistake. Sorry. You probably don't need the engineer's letter at this no, point. No, probably not. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's reduce this a little bit. First of all, Rotate it. Let's do that because I know it wants me to do that. You can see the whole thing now, right, Bill? Uh, yeah, except for that it's. Oh, rotate. Rotated. Sure, sure, sure. There. Okay. There you go. Perfect. And this this is a new house, so you can't see it on Google. Correct. I'm just sorry. I'm just going to scroll through to see if there's anything here. Okay, so I just go back to the top, right? Mm -hmm. so yes. that's, a, that's a new house huh yeah yes brand new mm -hmm. so yes we're going to put panels on the south facing side which is the front of the house mm -hmm. um the second page shows the array layout and yeah, yeah there we go and of course we're following the the fire code setbacks we have a three foot ground access point on two sides of the roof and also um this is a symmetrical layout um, you know, it's important to, you know, keep the aesthetics. It's on the main street there. So um, mm -hmm. we went, we also went with the all black panels. I mean, that black and white um, plans that you have there doesn't do it any justice, but we're going with the all black facing panels. So um, there's no lines, there's no silver behind it or white. That's good. Yeah. It's going to look good. Yeah. So what uh, color is the roof? Um, it's, it's like a, like a gray, grayish, a dark gray. Yeah, uh, by the way, I think I forgot to ask you to introduce yourself. Um, oh, I'm sorry about that. So my name is Jonathan Bonholm, and I am the solar sales consultant for Sun Blue Energy in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Very good. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, um, so yeah, so practically um, the layout should work. Um, it looks good aesthetically. It's following the setback requirements. And um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward um, install. Shall we go to picks? <clears throat> yes. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes, there, there's, there's not a good picture of the house, actually. This picture is looking from the house more. Yeah. But right here you have a sense of where it's going to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In the rendering, it's off center, but in the drawing, it's on center. Which, um, yeah, which is correct. With, with the three foot setbacks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the other question I had was on the site plan. Where exactly is the meter? Or maybe you could show in the pictures. Um, the Con Ed meter. Well, let me just check. It's like it, it was just sort of hanging out in the middle of the front yard on the drawing. Um, let me just check the site survey picks because, oh, no, the meter actually is on the lawn. It's practically, the, the engineering plans show it. It's not on the home. 
it's, it's where it's drawn. It looks funny, but that's where it is. I've walked past yeah. it a lot. Um, so, yeah, yeah. It's it's practically in the lawn, about maybe twenty feet from the house huh. ballpark. There, if we go yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, right there. It's on the left. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> so, but it's already there, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah the conduit run is going to go straight down the side of the house into the basement where the electric panel is at um so you know we'll we'll make sure that it's not visible there and um yes the the content meter is is on the lawn pretty much <laughs> okay mm -hmm. now kind of does what it wants yeah <laughs> yeah i actually have a few projects and um in armor <clears throat> that has that type of setup not many homes but there's a few Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so straightforward. Yeah. Any any comments from questions more from the board? The audience. Yeah, not here. No audience. And anybody want to in the audience have any questions or comments, Barbara? No. All right. Want a motion? I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me bring myself back in. What are you doing? I'm just bringing us all back in. Bringing us all back in. Can you see on camera? Can you see us now? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. I can yeah, see yeah, us the whole time. I see the joints. I could, yeah. Oh, I couldn't okay. see you, but I could see everybody else. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll so, make a motion. If no one else says. Okay. Okay. I second. Okay. Um. Before I have a vote, who's Andy Mayshar? Is that just? Uh, I'm yeah. wondering if that's Dennis trying to be incognito. Really? Yeah, that person's been there for a while. Yeah, he's been there the whole meeting. I, I'm huh. actually, I, I'm actually for the next application. Uh, okay, <laughs> he's, he's, he's prepared. All right, he's he's, he's he's psyched up. Okay, that's very good. All right, let's vote on this one. Um, Yvonne. Yes. Cindy. Yeah. Athena. And Andrew. Yes. And okay, very good. Me too. Okay. Thank All you, right. Andrew, for this. Is. Appreciate it. Okay. Bye, guys. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And now it's uh, 119 New Street is. Uh... Oh, 512 Tompkins. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Five, it's because they over went, went over the page. 512 Tompkins. Sorry. Tompkins, yes. Is, is this Andy Mayshire? This... Yeah, uh, I'm. my name is Amaris Jatan. I am also with Con Edison Solutions. Okay. I'm the project administrator for 512 Tompkins. Um, I'll speak on behalf, but Andy, and Andy is here with me as well. Okay. Um, so let me share my screen with you. All right, can everyone see this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. It's quite far out, but just wanted you to get an overview of the layout here um, in terms of the photos that I'm going to show you. So this solar PV installation, it's 32 LG panels and they are black on black. We actually have a rendering here so you can see what they will look like once they're installed. Mm -hmm. um, and so they'll be on this roof line here. My apologies. Let me just bring it up here a little so you can get more of an overview. This is the front of the home here. So it'll be here, this back dormer and facing away from the road, this dormer here facing the back of the house. Um, we have, there's an existing conduit run here 
that we will be running our conduit directly down along and into the AC disconnect that will be installed right here next to the utility meter. So we won't be uh, at placing a conduit in any areas that don't already have equipment there. Um, the conduit on the roof will run through the attic and out at this point to run along down to the utility meter and the AC disconnect. Um, all of the other equipment, the second AC disconnect and inverter will be placed here in the basement next to the main service panel. Um, and as, as, as I look at the drawings, I'm missing the whole right half of the page. Is that how everyone else says or is just my yeah. laptop? No, that's, that's how it is. She's I'm sorry, zoomed I in. zoomed in, but I can zoom out you, again. So you, you can't, you can't slide the view so we see more? No. I can. Let me just go down um, here. You could or maybe you can have the navigation thumbnails too. Yeah, minimize the thumbnails. I think maybe slide that over a little bit. Let's see here. You can. There we go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's better. A little bigger here. There you go. Yeah, that's good. All right. Yeah. So um, as I was saying, the uh the second AC disconnect and inverter will go here in the basement um, and the exterior would go, the AC disconnect will go here next to the utility meter. And that's, ba that's basically the gist of the installation, 32 black on black panels with the two AC disconnects and the inverter. And do you wanna show the pictures of the back too? Oh yeah, let me, the rendering that we have here is a little is better for those purposes. Um, so this is what it will look like from the front of the home. Here, mm -hmm. the other array is on this dormer here. So it's facing away from the street. And then the larger array is here on the side. Yeah, just one, one more comment. The house just to the left of it actually has a solar array facing the street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. One question, the, uh, don't you need to leave the uh, clearance around it? I mean, I like it this way, but I, I mean, I thought maybe you need to leave some clearance around the panels. So uh, let me not. show you the uh, fire access layout that we have from yeah. here. No, I'm just asking, I think it looks good. <laughs> but, the, um, no, that, and that's seems... a fair question. I just wanted to make sure that you guys are aware that we are um, taking that into consideration. And this is the fire access plan for that. So this is the uh, ah, okay. The okay, got you. in orange okay. and in green. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's clear. Did, that's did, clear. Did, yes. did, did the New York code allows us to go to the ridge if there aren't panels to the ah. ridge on the other side of the roof. Yeah, good. Because it looks better to me. <laughs> yeah, it looks I think nice. It looks I think. nicer. Yeah. Yes, that's right. The other two is actually, yeah, one is kind of facing, it's on the back facing the front. And then the one in the middle kind of, it's, uh, it's on a different slope. You yeah, can hardly this, see that one. And that right? this, sec, this yeah. grouping of panels. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now that's, that's not up on the dormer, right? That's on the yeah, right. part of the it's roof not. in the valley, right? Correct. Yeah. That's what I understand too. Yeah. yeah. You can't really see it, but that's where it is. Yeah, right. so it'll be here in this section. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions or? I don't think I have any. No. No, I think it, it looks good from the front and then the side is very clean. Yeah, it's um, rectangle. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah. All know. right, anybody in the audience then, Barbara? No. Okay. Um, then I guess we could have a motion. A motion. I second. Okay, let's see. Um, Cindy? Yes. Athena? Yep. 
Yvonne. Yes. Andrew. Yes. Okay, doke. Good to go. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank okay. you very Thank much. Thank you. Are you the famous Andy Maysha? No, oh, well, he's gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got in. You get to see him, yeah. All right, um, 119 New Street. Where'd he go? He was just here. There he is. <laughs> this is the I Ira Granberg. Is that the? No, he's Shore, He's the Shore Road Pool. I don't know how he got in. Oh. oh. He's uh, CMS Design. Oh. He's interlocal. Uh -huh. You are on mute. Hello. There you go. Okay. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you? My name is Carlos Sosa Trevor. Uh, today I am the applicant for this job in 119 New Street. You're the architect, are you? I work with the architect and architect too, but I'm working with Peter Klein, the architect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're the applicant, not the architect. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I will share my screen. I have, uh, this is a uh, fire damage building. We repair the uh, same the way it is. The only thing we will replace is the roof, the windows, and we paint the exterior the same color we have it before. Uh, Excuse me, are, am I correct that you're also adding a uh, siding uh, in the front? No, this isn't existing. This is in the, in the rear. They have, we have, let me, I, I share the picture with you, okay? This is the rear jar, uh, the front jar, I'm sorry. This is the front stocco. Everything is a stocco and little part here in the- I think rear. we're not seeing this picture. We, we see the uh, elevation drawings. Is that what you're- mm, Over there. Hey, one second. I got you now. Now you can see, right? right. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. And the, the, the fire damage in this area, in the rear area, and all okay. these mm -hmm. have existing side in here. Um, what, what we're doing is we replace just the root. We will keep all the way the trim around. We replace the old window, then the same. Uh, the same way the, we match with the existing, the color, everything will match the existing. This is mm -hmm. basically what we're doing. Let me I mm -hmm. share the material with you.
The window got to be Anderson 200 series with a grill. The stock is the same, uh, California and uh, summer, summer sun is the color. The side in the in the rear area in the side is the the side in the color is now ajo beige, the same color the same the same uh, shape. What is what material is the siding? The siding is a hardy party. Hardy shingle, okay. Yeah, hard, yeah hardy. Okay, we have an exterior light from the front. This is a grass may harper is to match with the color of the tree and all that stuff. Here. We have, basically is this what we we're doing right now? This we don't have any any so, different from the building and from the existing. So basically, you're just repairing. Repair. We repair. It's why the damn repair. Mm -hmm. Are you are you refinishing the uh, the stucco area? Yeah, the stuff, some part where it's damaged, we're refining, and, and another area we, we paint with the same color. Okay. All right. Anybody have any questions or comments or anything? No. No. Right. Okay. How about anybody in the uh, audience, Barbara? No. Okay. All right. Well, motion. Okay. I motion. Okay, that's two people. I, I oh, guess sorry. that's I don't know who is first and who is second, but Barbara will will sort it out. And uh, let's uh, vote then. Uh, let's see, Athena. Good. Andrew. I'm good. Thank you. Don. Yes. Good. Cindy. Yeah. Okay, me too. All good. All right. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you so much. Good night. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. good, good night. night. You too. Thank you. I was going to ask him if he sure he didn't want to put up any signs or solar panels. <laughs> 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 All right, so yeah. Okay, so next is uh, eight eight nine port drive. Hi, good evening. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, I'm, I'm Rich Fail. I'm representing Paul and, and Jenny Reynolds um, for their uh, renovation projects at 889 Port Avenue. Okay, and you are the architect, right? I'm the architect, yeah. And I think Jenny may be, uh, I don't know if she wants to come on or not, but she, she's... Okay, she's, she's here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... There she is. <laughs> okay. Hi, <Okay>. Jenny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I, uh, I, I think I, I submitted um, photos, but I think I only submitted one photo of the front of the house, but I have more I can share. Would, would it be helpful to start by looking, doing like a tour around the house with photos? Sure, or, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. All right, and then let's see, share screen. <clears throat> let's see if I can... Uh, Does that show up for everyone? It did, but then it, it went off again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, they're there. They're just small. The thumbnails. So thumbnails. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, but you just open it. When you clipped on it, it, it got big, but then it shrunk down. Yeah. 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 Oh. Did that work or not? No. There, there you go. go. That did it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're in. You okay. did it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so this this is the the front the west 
side of the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's see if I can, uh, but I can just click through them. Back to. <clears throat> Is it, I'm, I don't quite recall, is it this side of the house you're doing the work or the other? Um, it's it's kind of all, all sides, really. Um, yeah, but, um, different sides is different, yeah. Yeah, kind of a, right around the house. Uh, yeah, show us that one. Is that from Yeah, this one, does this show up big or small for you guys? Small right now. Small now, okay, let me see. Does that work here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. so, so, yeah, yeah, this is the, the back of the house. Um, mm -hmm. And this this part is my pointer showing up, I guess. It, yes. Yeah, yes. that part kind of stays the same, um, mm -hmm. with the exception of like we're re roofing and um, residing. We'll be where these, this uh, patio table is, there's going to be a, um, a sunroom addition that'll come off and kind of come to this corner and right out mm -hmm. there. Um, so it's kind of in that, so we're going to fill in that corner. Mm -hmm. the sunroom. Um, this hip roof is going to come off and it's going to become um, a flat roof. It'll be like a roof deck because they have from that elevation, they have a great view of the sound. <laughs> so they want to mm -hmm. take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we'll be, you know, so cutting an access through. This is their uh, existing master bedroom and we'll, we'll be uh, expanding, you know, adding glass to it and an access and a balcony out to the um, to the roof deck and then between in this kind of area where the um where the outdoor couch is is uh there's gonna be a pergola that you'll see on the drawings kind of a, um, a cedar pergola uh this roof line will stay the same but then in towards the front of the house we're gonna take the roof off and um reconstruct it so it's kind of we're trying to create a more of a consistency in the roof lines because uh, right now they're kind of all different pitches from you know various additions that kind of happen throughout the years. So we're trying to unify the house that way, mm -hmm. and we'll get rid of the antenna too. I think. <laughs> are you, um, while you're there, are you getting rid of the chimney? Uh, the chimney, I, I think we'll we'll. Yeah. The reason, the reason I ask is is I. You know, I was uh, there was uh, there wasn't the picture. I was a little confused about what I was looking at for a while in the drawings, and I was like trying to reference off the chimney, but it wasn't there on. It was there on the existing oh. drawings, but it wasn't there on the uh, other drawings. So I didn't yeah, know. If they just got yeah, left actually, off or, and then I looked for a fireplace on the plan. I couldn't find that either. So I thought maybe you were getting rid of. It. Yeah, that's right. It's an old boiler flue, and um, so we would be, you know, uh, switching over to propane, and uh, that would be unnecessary. You know? In the new plan. So. so you are getting rid of the chimney. Um, we are, yeah. Sorry, I kind of forgot that we we're getting rid of it. <laughs> but th that yeah, is it's not, get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not, in the elevation, it's not that much. Um, right. yeah, yeah. It's not shown. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, good. Good to know. You'll, you'll probably want to let the contractor know too. <laughs> I'll make sure he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Take that down. <laughs> um, right. uh, let's see. So. Oh, now to the, uh, would you like to see the existing um, elevations or go right to the proposed elevations? I, I would say you could go right to the proposed unless anybody okay. wants to see the existing. No, I mean, I will say the existing, I think has mistakes on it. Like it, it doesn't really reflect, it shows a room there where you're gonna build a new room. And then, but I guess that's not there. Oh, oh, yeah. The um, that that was a previous um, like kind of solarium that they tore down recently. Um, so well, yeah. there's a room that says there's a room on the plan that says sunroom, with stairs down to it on the existing guess, plan. Or? Yeah, on the existing plan. But I say I, I see they took that down. They, yeah, that was I think they took it down about less than a year and a half ago. A year. I see. So, okay. Yeah. Because um, that doesn't show in the photos at all. It's not there anymore. Yeah, it was taken down recently. Okay, no, I understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so, so we're basically going to strip the house, you know, and get rid of the, the vinyl siding um, and replace with um, the boral uh, siding, which is like a, it's a cementitious um, type siding. Um, but, but it's, you know, it does a pretty good job, I think, of emulating, you know, natural wood. Uh, we don't, we don't see anything. We just see the menu. 
Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so si looking at, do you see the elevation or not? No, we no. see the oh. list of uh, things. Okay. Sorry. No. Proposed west elevation. It's like the pictures. There it is. Okay. Yeah. There okay. You Sorry. There you getting, go. getting the hang of it. Um, so, yeah, so the, the plan would be to remove all the, um, the existing uh, vinyl clapboard siding and replace with this uh, a product called Boral, which is a cementitious you know, fiber cement siding. Um, and it would be the uh, we're going to go with a, um, it's called a rustic V groove, and it's, uh, it's a horizontal, it's a kind of a plank siding that has a, a V groove cut into it. Uh, and we're going with the largest that they offer, which is, um, I believe it's a one by 10 um, seven tissue siding. Uh, and then for the roof, we're going to go, you know, shingles with a, a few accents of uh, a metal roof, a standing seam roof. You can see uh, uh, we've got a canopy over the um, the main gable, and then um, we have a double gable where we're introducing some standing seam roofing as well. Um, and uh, and then uh, we're also adding a, a, this this porch would be a new addition, and we'll have a, a fieldstone veneer on the, the face of it, um, and then new garage doors, and uh, and then we're replacing windows as well uh, with. Uh, uh, right now we're looking at Anderson 400 series and uh, the color scheme would just be the, the white um, clad window that they offer. The siding would also be uh, just painted white. Um, the entry door would be like a natural wood. And the, um, the I think the only, the only kind of differentiation for, from white would be in the, the garage doors we're going to accent with a uh, kind of a duck egg blue, which is kind of like a a nice kind of light grayish blue. Um, I think I have, I think I found something on wine. Uh, see if this shows up or. <clears throat> yep. It's kind of in that, no, there it is, it's the big blue. <laughs> in that palette, yeah. right. kind of grayish, light blue. But there, everything else would be white or, um, or natural wood. <clears throat> um, yeah, the posts would be, you know, it, it, the all the trim would be boral, and it's all you know, kind of emulating uh, a painted wood uh, siding, but yeah. pretty. It's a, a lot more maintenance resistant, <laughs> maintenance free. Um, and then we have a uh, kind of a, a trellis that would hang off the, um, over the garage, just a decorative trellis that would be, uh, like, again, bringing in some natural wood, a Spanish cedar trellis. Mm -hmm. I assume that the roof of the canopy, the porch, it's also the, the shingles, right? It would be, yeah, fiberglass shingles. Um, yeah. And, we're thinking kind of a um, between a, a mission brown or a pewter gray in that kind of family yeah. for the, um, but that would be, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Timberline, uh, the Geff lifetime fiberglass shingles with architectural profile. What, what happens on the inside of the uh, two um, gables there where the downspout is? Um, so is the, that, I'm just, is that, does the metal seam roof, you know, is does that come out? Is that pitched to where the scupper is? Is that what's happening there? That's or? right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. that's a kind of a mm -hmm. uh, we created a little um, sloped roof in, in there that pitches to, okay. the, to the upper. Okay. Right. I get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, and the next. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the south elevation. Um, this is kind of the the view we're kind of looking at from the the, the rear photo I showed you. So there was a uh, hip roof over this um, that we looked at, and so we're going to mm -hmm. kind of lop that off and um, kind of reconstruct a, a, a roof deck, and um, with a, a railing that would be we're uh, considering like a um, 
Wood, wood frame railing with the tempered glass inserts panels in between the, the null posts and a wood top rail. Um, and then again, the same uh, borals, you know, v, rustic v-group siding uh, throughout. And this is the sunroom, the, the new sunroom. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is the one that was torn down and are basically extending the roof line down. Can I ask you a question about that? Yep. As I as I look at the plan, it look the from it looks like the sunroom and the kitchen are on the same level, but when you look at that, the windows for the sunroom are so much lower than the windows for the rest of the house. I don't fully understand how that's the same floor, same level. Oh, the uh the Oh, these the windows where I have them set up a little bit higher. Yeah, um, you go to the plan. Show you. Is that um, is that showing up or yeah oh, okay mm. yeah 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 so he it, says kind of lining up the um, the window heads on it um, we did the previous um, summer I think the, did step down um, but our our thinking is that we want to um, make it all the, the same level well, which <laughs> I'm confused which elevation were we looking at uh, oh we were, we were looking at the um, the south elevation which would be I can't tell this. which is south that one on the right okay. Yeah, I don't, I'm sorry to give you a compass on it. Um, wait, see where I'm, where the mouse is. Okay, so down. the step the step down is to bedroom two, oh. and bedroom one or higher. There, there is there's steps there. To they, bed, they, so yeah, bedroom they, one and bedroom two are higher than the they, sunroom. They are higher. Yeah, the sunroom is lower, right? Oh, I see. Yeah. So the kitchen's yeah. lower too. Correct. Yeah, it's just kind of split level kind of thing. Yeah, that's all existing. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, we are yeah, kind of changing. This is a. There's again. That's a new porch, um, and then okay. footprint wise, I mean, the, the sunroom is new, and the patio is also new. Um, family room mm -hmm. exists, but we yeah. we're, we're introducing a spiral stair to get up to you know. So when they have guests over, they don't have to bring them through their bedroom <laughs> to get into the to the roof mm -hmm. deck. They can from the exterior come up a, a spiral stair. Here, mm -hmm. well, painted the glass panels and the, the terrace. There, you said, uh, you I think you mentioned something, but yeah, yeah the, the tinted, they have color. Um, the the no, the the terrace there, the um, master bedroom, uh, oh, um, upstairs area, yeah. yeah. Now we go upstairs. I mean, the glass rain, you know, um, yeah. You said something about it. Uh, the glass is painted, it's what, what is it, and past color uh, or. Um, huh? No, I think it'll be clear because we, we just want to make it as oh. minimal as we can just to, to okay. maximize the view of the sound, you know. So. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. I can go to the second floor if that helps. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that's, yeah, coming off the the master bedroom, then there'd be a, a balcony and, and a, a roof mm -hmm. deck, and this would be the, the glass railing around it. Um, this is the, the pergola yeah. that would be right uh, over there in the spiral stair. Yes. And then the, um, the porch is, the new porch mm -hmm. is here, and it kind of, there's a um, kind of a side porch that we're going to you know, uh, reclaim as a, a guest bedroom down below, and so that's, that's here. And then we'll, the new porch will kind of grab onto that roof and wrap around uh, to the front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a north elevation. Um, so we're, we're this, this roof line is the existing line and what we're proposing is to uh, reconstruct the roof uh, on the, the front of the house, the west side, and this would be a proposed um, kind of gable end that mm -hmm. we're 
adding to it just to again just to kind of make the roof lines at least from mm -hmm. the front more consistent with each other yeah this, this, this section is existing with you know aside from replacing windows and um this it's all the foot the footprint is the same pretty much and, um that's mm -hmm. the, the family room with the stair coming up mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is the east, uh, the the back of the house, east elevation. So we we have that same that's the existing roof line, um, and then this is the the new one behind it, it or toward, you know that's oriented towards the front of the house. Um, this is um, so I'm still a little bit confused uh, about where exactly this is in space. Where is Port Drive? Port Drive is, uh, this This is the exact back of the house. Uh, Port Drive is on the opposite. Opposite side, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so the view is to the side of the house, uh, to whatever direction that is, okay. The right yeah. side of the house is the view. I mean, the left side, as you look at it from the front is the view side. Um, yeah, it's kind of the the north and east. So this is the east side, and then um, the north side. Yeah. So like you said, like if you're if I'm on Port Drive, it's really the it's that left yeah. that corner is where they get their view. Okay. Um, so this but, side, which is, is not really the view side, the view side's off to the side. Yes. It's it's kind of at an angle. It's like I'd say it's oblique um, when I stand it's, there. This this look. looks at the Beach Club, right? Right. Yeah, and then, and then through it, and they can uh, from that uh, upper elevation, they can actually see up above the okay. beach club a bit and, and get some water views. <laughs> so, so from that, from this where those people are standing up there, um, that's the kind of probably the best view you know on the property of, of the sound from there, kind of that off that corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, just trying to you know max out glass on this side and with um, kind of center parting sliding glass doors off off the kitchen breakfast area. Yeah, and, yeah. I, I, I was looking at it before. It's hard to orient because it's sort of you know kind of northeast and not north or east, and then then it's sort mm -hmm. of a little bit hard to tell which was the front. And, you know, cause yeah, no. I was, it was one of those where you kind of had to pick a pick a orientation because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. right it's kind of it is at a kind of a 45 to yeah. the true north and <laughs> yeah okay um, I think was, uh, uh, this might help a little bit too it's yeah it's certainly yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah so this is the view was really um off to that that corner, yeah. Mm. So uh, yeah, I call I call this side north, but yeah, you could you could conceivably call the east side north as well. <laughs> you kind of had to pick one. Um, yeah, it's forty five degrees, right? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Difficult. So the, this is where the the in that if they look out that way, that's where they get their view, which is really nice. And so that's that's mm. why the roof deck here. Mm, yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, any other questions from anybody? Comments? Mm -mm. No. All right, Barbara, anybody in the audience? No. All right, got a motion? I motion. I second. Okay, let's see who we got here. Athena? Looks great. Okay, Yvonne? Yes. Cindy? Yeah. Andrew? Yes. Okay, me too. Very good. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. right, thank you. Have, have yes, thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Um, 1070 Constable Drive. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Robert Keller, Keller Eaton Architects. Um, uh, nice to meet you all again. I'm going to pull up my drawings on the screen. Give me one second. Where where he go? Uh, oh <laughs> gosh! Is Ira went, Gran went away. Has Ira Granberg been there for no. multiple? Yeah, Ira is apparently from the, the Shore Road uh, submission, so he's just hanging out, I guess. But um, I see. We lost. We lost. Uh, okay. Yeah. I assume he he knows he's lost. And it's not just talking away to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Do you do you see him there in the audience? I do not see him as a panelist or as an attendee. I oh think my. he totally lost his connection. Vanished. Maybe we should do Mr. Grant. Into thin air. Okay, do you want to, maybe then while he figures out what happened to him, should we should we just uh, see if we can knock off Shore Road then, like Andrew suggested? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do that since he's here and ready to go. <laughs> All right, Ira, you're up. Sorry, can you hear me? We can. Yes. Uh, this meeting will be uh, handled by Rosalia Sani. She's the landscape architect, since it's mostly about the pool. So I hand it over to Rosalia. Okay, and you are, um, could you introduce yourself, Ira? I'm the architect on the project. I was okay. before you previously on all okay. the components of the main house. And okay. uh, now the pool is being discussed. Okay, very good. Hi, I'm Rosalie Asani. I'm the landscape designer. Can you hear me and see me okay? Yes. yes. Um, I'm gonna dig right in. Um, we have a picture of, so as Ira mentioned, we've gone through the approvals and the house uh, was approved by you um, in May of 2020. So the house actually has made a lot of progress. So we could show you a picture of what it looks like so that you can see how the pool layers into it. So let me share the screen. Okay. Okay. Can you see the, um, mm -hmm. the photograph? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. 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 So yes. this is the house that's in construction and this was the one, um, you know, this was what was approved and the addition is a basement and it's a walk, so it's a walkout basement. So the pool um, goes in this location. So you step down into the mm -hmm. pool. Um, there was a pool there originally, um, but it didn't work with the addition. So we're proposing a new pool um, in this location. Um, I should point out it's facing the water. It's got the sound to the south um, and then Van Amringe Lake to the west. So it doesn't really have any abutting neighbors. Um, I can show you if you wanna see the pool, share screen. This was an early rendering. Um, where is it? Here it is. Okay. So this was an mm -hmm. early rendering to understand the context. So it's an infinity edge pool and you take steps down. The colors and the materials are not correct here, but this just gives you an idea of the scale and kind of how everything mm -hmm. relates to one another. Um, I can mm -hmm. show you the plan now. Just want to get the right plan. Okay, here we go. All right. So 
So um, this is the overall site plan. And just to just get a sense of what, what I showed you in the back of the house, um, this, this is the back of the house that you just saw taken from maybe standing here. And this is where uh, the pool would go. Um, the original pool is in a similar location. Um, as I mentioned, it's an infinity edge style. Um, the colors are gonna be kind of a dark gray finish to kind of work with the colors of the sound. Um, the, uh, you know, the auto cover, it's gonna have an auto cover and it's gonna be kind of a, you know, a, a neutral beige color and it's, it'll have a standard green winter cover. Um, if you dig into the, to the pool plan, the pool is, 52 eight, it's kind of an odd number because it works with the house, but it's 52 feet, eight inches by 17 feet, 10 inches. Um, and there's a spa and then the infinity edge that I mentioned. Um, the materials that we're using are the same as what we're, we're carrying through for the rest of the property and the kind of work with the colors and the tones and the textures of the house. So I'm gonna zoom in. We have this really beautiful um, limestone, uh, hardy beige kind of warm white limestone um, from Europe that, the, and these are photographs of it actually installed on the upper patios. So we're gonna be carrying that through to the pool and the pool coping area. Um, the infinity <laughs> is gonna be, excuse me? That was a dog. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. whose dog, but it, but it's okay. You don't have to address the dog. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's, it's hard to hear. Um, and then the back is going to be this dark charcoal black, um, very muted color, so that it just kind of reads as as water and is very quiet. Um, the um, they also asked us to show you about the fencing. So here in the plan, um, we're tying it into the house it's the orange line here. So we have it on this side, then we have it on this side, and then we have it kind of going, um, you know, on the property line. And it's, um, you know, in keeping with the architectural style and the era, we're going with an iron fence. So here's kind of the visual uh, picture of the inspiration. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the way we detailed it. So we have the sphere detailing and, and a bit of a pattern. And then we have, you know, the pickets that kind of alternate in a rhythm and it's gonna be a standard pool code fence size. And those are the plans. Um, we have many, many other plans that show the history of it, but uh, that that's generally the style yeah, and, and everything. So. Um, so that would be it. And then we have, uh, I just want to point out again, that we've got the water kind of surrounding on, you know, yeah. on these sides. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, I, I recall now the, the renovation from before it's been a while, but yeah, it's yeah. quite a high quality and, uh, thoughtful renovation. Um, and the pool likewise. Thank you. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, looks great. Yeah. Good. Anyway, anybody, does anybody have any questions or comments here? I'm going to take that as a no. No. Anybody, no, in, no. anybody in the uh, audience, Barbara? No. Okay. Motion. Motion. Second. Okay, uh, let's see, we got Athena. Yep. And Andrew. Andrew. Muted. Sorry, yes, sorry. Okay, all right, Yvonne. Yes. And uh, Cindy. Yes. Very good. And me too. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. We're we're yeah. very very pleased with it ourselves. So thank you. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Right. Have a good night. Thanks. Good night. Y'all. Good night. Thank you. Okay, and it looks like we have Robert back now. You do? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Sorry about that. I'm on my pad, so I'm not sure what happened. 
Yeah, we, we, I'm sorry. Yeah, we didn't know what happened to you. So we weren't sure how soon you come back on. So we thought we'd move things along with the All right. I'm going to try again. If I lose you for some reason, I'll be right back. And then I'll ask you to share the screen instead. Okay. Um, let me, let me see what happens. Did that pull up? Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. I don't yep. know. I can see it. Just had like a blip there for some reason. All right, so this is um, the existing house for Mr. and Mrs. Lehrer. Um, we are putting a few um, minor additions to the left side of the house, which you cannot see from the street, actually. It solves mm -hmm. some issues that they're having with the house. Uh, Mr. Lara would like to work at home on the first floor. So we are putting uh, a home office for him in this addition that's hatched there. Um, they would like to expand the family room and be able to connect it to their favorite porch uh, off the master bedroom and uh, enjoy having more family over and create a laundry room uh, near the garage there that uh, will allow them to do laundry in that location more easily uh, and with a lot of grandchildren uh, doing a lot of laundry. Uh, so the sort of mm -hmm. zigzags uh, along the property line so that we're not going over the setback. And um, mm -hmm. from that's the existing plans. I don't know if you can see those existing elevations. This is a that's somewhat larger blow up of the of the area. Um, just pushing forward, family room, creating a space for the office, like I said, and creating a space for a laundry room, and then connecting a small a small connecting porch to uh, the existing porch at the rear of the building. Mm -hmm. And this is basically what we are doing to just sort of, base, to sort of explain it. Um, currently, the back of the house has a sloping roof. At the left side, you see an angle there of a sloping roof. That roof is across the entire back of the building, pulling that roof line around the side of the house, pulling the windows forward um, in the family room, which are the two windows on the right hand side that you see between the columns. Then there's a connector uh, piece that connects that to the existing porch, which is on the left hand side of that lower level. Um, and we are putting in an extension of a stucco wall um, that exists already um, across the across the facade. And then further over, uh, that is Mr. Lara's office, the two windows that you see after the porch. And then the next block over stepping back is the laundry room. Um, and we're using the same materials. Um, there's an existing slate roof. The house has white shingles um, and, and trim. Okay, so, so it's all just here in the back, a, a small kind of widening, really. Right. Yeah. Um, mm, well, you hardly see the house from the street, right? Right. Because it's I mean, so, it's one of the so nice things about the building. Dark. It's sort of a nice yeah. old, you know, feels like a one-story house from the street on this very beautiful piece of property, mm -hmm. which they do not want to alter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Also seems relatively straightforward and cleanly done. Um, my view. Um, mm -hmm. Anybody else have any comments or questions? Yeah. Um, so the facade elevation, the left side elevation, I mean, the, the garage door, that, that is all existing. Yes. Correct. Yeah. That is always this thing. Yes. The balcony above and the 
or yes, that's all existing. Mm -hmm. It's all existing. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's okay. really just this stuff on the rear elevation, a little bit on the side. But, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. It looks good. Okay. Any any audience uh, members wishing to speak, Barbara? No. 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 Okay. Doke. Um, a motion. Mm -hmm. I motion. Okay. And let's see, uh, Andrew. I second that. Oh, I thought you motioned and she seconded. Uh, it doesn't way. matter. Either okay. <laughs> okay. You you're in favor, Andrew. Okay, Cindy. Yes. Yvonne? Yes, yes. Athena? Yep. Okie doke. And it's good with me too. So very good. Thank you, Robert. And thanks for hanging in there and have a good night. Thank you. Sorry mm -hmm. about that flip. I don't know what that was. No. Thank you. Sorry. Right. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. All right. Uh, motion to adjourn. I motion. <laughs> I'll second that. Okay. Anybody opposed? <laughs>